Hey guys, uh, we're going to be working on 3.2 F today, slopes in parallel and perpendicular lines. So if you don't mind, um, your homework for this is going to be actually to take notes. So take out your uh, lesson notes of module 3.2 F and we will be working on these right now. So let's go ahead and bring out your uh, paper. And it says on the coordinate plane, it says draw a rectangle with the vertices um, at negative 5 comma 2. 1 comma 5, 3 comma 1, negative 3 comma negative 2, and label the vertices uh, A, B, C, and D. So uh, what that means is all vertices means is the corner. So first we're going to go to negative 5 and then up 2. Uh, we're going to go to positive 1 and then up 5. And we're going to go to 3 comma 1. And the last one is negative 3, negative 2. As you can see, I have my rectangle. Here's A, uh, here's B, here's C, and D. And uh, now make sure you just connect the dots here. So your rectangle should look something very similar to this. And it says find the slope of each uh, side of the rectangle. Uh, so let's go ahead and first find these. So from A to D and from B to C. So I'm going to highlight those in yellow just so um, I can tell. Um, so I have point 5 comma 2, negative 5 comma 2, and I'm going to find that with D, which is negative 3 comma 2. So first let's go ahead and do that. That's going to look like 2 minus negative 2 all over negative 5 minus negative 3. When I simplify that, that's going to be positive 4 all over positive 2, which is going to simplify to 2. Okay, So the slope here is, I just went up 4 and over 2. Um, and in fact, I'm going to do that for all of them now, is just do rise over run. So if I want to see the rise over run from B to C, all I have to do is, from here I go up 1, 2, 3, 4, and then to the left 2. So I went up 4 to the left negative 2. So my slope here is 4 over um, 2, which is also 2, excuse me, negative 2. Um, one thing, let's go back and look at the original one from A to D. I made a mistake, negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. So my slope here should have been negative 2. Now the point that I want you to notice is that these two lines have the same slope. We kind of talked about this. Parallel lines are always, always, always going to have the same slope. So now, when I look at this, let's do the rise over run. Here, I'm going to do it in blue. So from A to B, I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3. I'm going to go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So my rise over run here is 3 over 6, which is 1 half. Okay, same idea. Now I'm going to do my rise over run here, which means I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3 then over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I went up 3 over 6. Same idea there, my slope for this line is positive 1 half. So now I have my two slopes, guys, and my slopes of them uh, are negative 1 half or positive, excuse me, positive 1 half or negative 2. All right, so by evaluating the slopes, decide a rule that describes the relationship between slopes of parallel lines. Now, parallel lines are the ones I highlighted in yellow, and I want you to notice that they have the same slopes. So I want you to write parallel lines have the same slope. All right, now it says evaluating the slopes, decide the rule that describes the relationship between the slopes of a perpendicular lines. So same idea now, perpendicular lines is what I call um, the opposite re uh, reciprocal, or it's the inverse. So let me uh, write this down and then I will show you what that means. So perpendicular lines, perpen have inverse slopes. 
What that means is whatever the slope is, you're going to flip the fraction and flip the sign. So for instance, I had a slope that was 2, negative 2. So we're going to flip the sign for the perpendicular slope, which is going to be positive, And we're going to flip this to be 1 half. And if you remember, 2 as a fraction is 2 over 1. Okay? I'm just going to give you guys a few examples of what the inverse slopes would look like. If I have a slope of positive 3 over 2, the inverse is going to be negative 2 thirds. If I have a 1 that's positive 4, the inverse is going to be negative 1 fourth. Whatever it is, we just flip it. So one more, if I have a slope that is negative 1 third, the inverse is going to be positive 3. Okay? Or if it was positive 1 third, it would be negative 3 is my inverse. So I want you to find the slope of each equation, then find the slope of a line that is parallel to the given line and perpendicular to the given line. So I have the equation negative 5x plus 9. First thing I want to do is looking at this equation, I want you to tell me what is the slope. And the slope is negative 5. Now remember, parallel slopes are going to have the same exact slope. So the same exact slope will be negative 5. Now the tricky one is the perpendicular one. Remember, we take the opposite sign, so it's negative here, so perpendicular is going to be positive. And then I have um, pos uh, excuse me, a 5, so that would be 1 fifth. So a perpendicular will be 1 fifth. Just as a reminder for those of us who forgot, when two lines intersect and make a right angle, these lines are going to be perpendicular. As a reminder, parallel lines, these are two lines that never intersect. It'll look something like that. So here we go. I want you to look at this equation, and the given slope is positive 1 half. So remember, parallel lines, we're going to have the same exact slope, so a parallel slope would be 1 half as well. Now a perpendicular is, means we've got to flip the fraction, so I've got to move the numerator to the denominator, which that's going to be 2 over 1, or just 2, and you've got to change the sign. This is a positive 1 half, so the perpendicular would be negative. So the perpendicular slope is negative 2. All right, now this one's a little tricky. If we look at this, remember y equals 4 is if I went up to the fourth spot, and that's what y equals 4 is. And the slope of that line is 0. Parallel uh, slope would also be 0. Now a perpendicular slope would be the one that's a vertical line. That's one of those x equals. So that would look like... Um, that would actually have an undefined slope. These are one of those special equa uh, equations. All right, now the next one, it's not written in y equals mx plus b, so I actually need to get y by itself. I would do my first step by minusing 4x on both sides. That would give me 12y is equal to negative 4x plus 24. And then I would divide each and every term by 12. This would give me y equals negative 4 over 12 is negative 1 third x uh, plus 2. Now remember, the whole point of this is looking at the slopes, so I'm really focused on that negative 1 third. So the slope of this line is negative 1 third. A parallel line will have the exact same slope, so the exact same slope is negative 1 third. And a perpendicular is if I take the opposite reciprocal. So I'm going to flip the fraction. So that would be 3, and then I change the sign. So it's a negative for my parallel line, so the perpendicular will be positive 3. All right, so now the next one is x equals 15. So this is one of those tricky ones where we just kind of need to know the rule. When it's a parallel, excuse me, when it's a perpendicular line, let me take that back. When it's an x equals 15, it's going to be a vertical line. This has an undefined slope. A parallel line would also be going straight up and down. This would also be undefined. And now a um, perpendicular one would be one of those horizontal lines that's like y equals just a number with no x's. And if we remember, those have a zero slope. Now you can't have a negative zero, it's just zero, so we stop right there. All right, so I would like you to try um, seven on your own. So go ahead and press pause right here and solve it, um, and then uh, watch me solve it afterwards. So guys, you should already have the problem solved, so let's go ahead and solve it here. 
This would be y minus 2 is equal to negative 7x uh, plus, can't think, excuse me, minus negative 42. I'm going to add 2 on both sides to get y equals negative 7x uh, plus, um, excuse me, minus 40. So now I look at this equation and I want to look at the slope. My slope is right here at negative 7x, so the given slope is negative 7. Parallel line will have the exact same slope, which is also negative 7. Now the perpendicular slope, remember it's going to be opposite sign, so I have a negative right here, which means the perpendicular is going to be positive. And I have 7 basically over 1, so if I flip that, it would be positive 1 seventh is the perpendicular line. All right. Now, without graphing, determine if the following sets of lines are parallel, perpendicular, and neither. So, um, we don't need a graph. All we need to do is look at these lines and compare the slopes. My slope is 3 fourths and 3 fourths for both lines. Since they are both parallel, or excuse me, both the same, the lines are parallel. So, from here on out, every time instead of writing parallel, I'm going to do this symbol. This just means two lines that are parallel. You can do the same. Now looking at these lines, I need to look just at the slopes again. So I'm looking at 3 fourths and negative 3 fourths. Now it's close because they have opposite signs, but it's not flipped, it's not a reciprocal. So this would be neither. They're not the same slope, so it's not parallel, and they're not opposite reciprocals. A perpendicular slope would be negative 4 thirds. These are perpendicular, but these slopes right here are neither. All right. So now let's look at this one. It's getting a little closer. I'm only looking at the slopes. I have 3 fourths and I have 4 thirds. These are also neither because for this to be perpendicular, this would have to be a negative 4 thirds or vice versa. This would have to be a positive 4 thirds and this would have to be a negative 3 fourths. So therefore, these are not perpendicular slopes. All right, now let's go ahead and look at this one. Remember, I'm only looking at the slopes, not the B value. I have positive 3 and negative 1 third. These are perpendicular slopes because the opposite of positive 3 over 1 would be negative 1 third, which these are. So this is uh, perpendicular. Now instead of writing perpendicular, we also have a sign for that. It's like an upside down T, and it just shows you that it has right angles. So this means perpendicular. So instead of writing perpendicular from here on out, I'm just going to write that symbol. All right, directions. Without graphing, determine whether the lines through the pair of points are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Show your work. So I'm given two points. I'm giving negative 3, comma 1 and 2, comma 3. And my second point is negative 3, 5 and negative 1, 0. And what I'm going to do is find the slope of both of these lines. So I'm going to do 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1, and 2 minus negative 3. 2 minus negative 3, which is going to be equal to 2 over positive 5, because that turns to positive. Now that means my perpendicular slope needs to be either negative 5 over 2, or my parallel line also has to have 2 over 5. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'll do that in red. I'm going to have 5 minus 0, and negative 3 minus 1. That would equal positive 5, excuse me, um, negative 3 minus negative 1, and that would turn positive. So that's going to be negative 2. I want you to look at these. These have flipped, and the sign is opposite. This is positive 2 fifths. This is negative uh, 5 over 2, which means these are perpendicular lines. All right, guys, from here we're going to pause the video. I want you to open part 2 of the video and watch that one, okay?